In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, this book, Meeting Suck by Cameron Harold. If you're a little bit like me and you're starting a bit late on your development journey, it's key and important to pick up books that are impactful and can set you aside or apart from the people around you. This book by Cameron Harold is definitely one of those that I find very helpful. Meetings themselves don't actually suck, and this is what the book kind of sets out. We suck running meetings, and I have to agree with that. I've worked in a number of different large uh, organizations throughout my career, and I've tried to start my own projects on the side. And I would have to admit that I've never been trained once about how to run a meeting. Yes, you pick up ideas around you from meetings you've been in or leaders that give you some pointers, but there isn't like a 101 book, how to run a meeting. And this is where Cameron Harold really steps in with a handy handbook that is good for all employees. Whether you're a new team member in a corporate environment or a startup or yourself, you're a CEO and you're looking for a way to develop tips, techniques and strategies to improve your workflow in your meetings, this book definitely will help all levels of all organizations. Number one technique that I'm going to talk about here is setting a very clear agenda. And that's just not setting out an agenda of a title of a meeting and maybe three or four different subjects that you want to cover. It's also sending out the type of meeting that this is going to be. This idea was great for me. It was. It, it did definitely set off a number of, of uh, sparks and ideas and light bulbs because the number of meetings that I've been to that have just been a subject, a uh, weekly check-in or discussion around performance and managers or groups will get together and just have a, a general group conversation but no one really knows that's what it's meant to be. It's just like a general meeting and that's what I love about this book is it, it really spells out some very simple common sense even ideas around setting an agenda and actually talking uh, beforehand about the type of meeting. This is going to be a brainstorm meeting. This is going to be a group discussion. This is a feedback meeting. This is a learning session where you're going to get taught something. Specifically actually telling people who are coming to the meeting what the meeting is going to be about allows it to be run and allows it to be a lot more impactful. One of the other tips, techniques, and strategies that I'm going to implement from this book is making sure that when I'm inviting people to a meeting, that those people need to be in that meeting. I think a lot of the times we generally invite too many people to our meetings because we think everybody needs to know about everything else. And, and that can really bog down your calendar and also it can make a lot of people in that meeting, in that room, on that call, be disengaged because they don't really feel like they need to be here or there. And that's, a, that's an important lesson for me that, I was, uh, that I'm taking away from this uh, short, impactful book is making sure that I'm being very thoughtful about who I'm putting on that invite list. Meetings do suck, but if you get good at running meetings, meetings can become one of the most impactful and useful tools that can drive your small entrepreneurial business forward into uh, great success or can create a lot more space in your calendar if you work within a corporate environment, shrinking those hour long, two hour long, dragged out meetings down to 25 minutes or 30 minutes where it's super impactful and you're only going to the ones that you really need to be in. I have reviewed a number of other business books on this channel, which you can check out in the information card above. And this book from Cameron Harold definitely fits into that mold. Super impactful, filled with lots of great tips, techniques, and strategies that can really help you immediately make improvements, not only in your work life, but in your projects that you may be running outside of your normal day-to-day -day workflow. That's it from me this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along get lots more content on my struggling to succeed journey. My mission here is to deliver you bite-sized videos each week that can hopefully help you start your journey of success. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you next week. And as always, make it a good one.